So hello everybody, this is Prometo CX, and today is just another solo day. Po is at work, and I'm stuck at home in my uh, contraption in bed after my surgery. I have to do this machine for about eight hours a day, so I got nothing to do. So today I'm going to be doing some more Zelda 2 comparison work. Um, so what the deal is here is, you know, if you if you didn't make it yesterday, um, actually let me just show very quickly what's going on. Oops. Okay, so here's my setup. Here's here's like a hospital bed that I bought, so I can you know I can do some basic computer work. I guess it gets tiring after a while. And there's my crutches. I've I've been on that for quite a while, and I'm stuck in this machine. You can see my scars there. I got a couple more. Anyway, I'm stuck in this machine, and it moves my knee up and down for eight hours a day. And hello, Izambo, thank you for following, and you got 30 tomato plants. So, anyway, I'm stuck in this machine, so I'm going to make the most of this time by um, streaming things I've always meant to stream, and also um, actually getting to work on this uh, Zelda 2, or Zelda 1 and Zelda 2 Legends of Localization book that I'm working on. And uh, so that involves today, I have to play a bunch more of Zelda 2, and I'm trying to try to finish it. Okay, so here's actually, let's see what I'm at today so far. I am at an hour and a half. I still got so much longer to go. Okay. Okay, yeah, so my surgery was pretty clean. I was really surprised. I didn't even need any pain medicine at all, so um, it went pretty well, but I can't put any weight on it, and I have to put leave my leg in the machine, so it was about as best as I could have hoped. Okay, so actually since this is on a hospital bed, it might be, I might accidentally knock it and wobble the microphone, so it's going to be all, it's going to be really weird. Anyway, so with Zelda 2, what I'm doing is I've been going through Zelda 2, and I want to get screenshots of everything in the game, like every line of text. So all the Japanese text, I want to get a screenshot of all that, and these are all the ones I've already gotten. I've already, I'm missing a few. And then I go, then later on I go through the English version and get the English version. And I have several pages of this. And we're near the end of the game now. Actually, Andrew Ray, I did get stitches. I got them out uh, last week. Hello, Look Light Place. Thank you for watching from work. <laughs> I'll, I'll not tell anybody. Um, okay, so... Let me put that away. So here's something I put together. Let me see if it'll work. Um, I have to, I'm going to just have to go on... I'm blind, blind guessing that this is going to work. Okay, so here's um, here's a site that I work on. It's called Legends of Localization, and it's at legendsoflocalization.com. I've been working on it for several years. Actually, if you trace its lineage, you know, it has a family tree and everything. It goes back to 1999. I've been doing this since 1999. It's where I compare the uh, um, like the Japanese version of games with how they got localized. So here's here's. You know, you can you can check this all out. Anyway, so this this one is for Zelda One, and I did a really big comparison of Zelda One. And I, and um, so my very first book that I'm going to be doing for Legends of Localization is going to be Zelda One and uh, Zelda Two. Zelda Two probably won't be online because you know it want to be a book a book exclusive. You know, people want to get their money's worth. So the Zelda Two stuff is going to be for the book. Although maybe maybe I'll do some system if enough people buy the book, I'll put. A version of it online, I don't know. But if you haven't checked it out, ch check out the uh, Legends of Localization about uh, the first Legend of Zelda. It's really fascinating. I even, at one point here, here's the first quest. You know, I talk about all the stuff. It's not just like screenshot comparisons, it's not just spreadsheet text comparisons, it's all this information about why things are why, why they were localized certain ways. Here for Zelda 1, I went through everything, I went through every line of text. And uh, I might do something like that with Zelda 2, but for now I'm just getting screenshots and text differences. So check that out. Okay. Yeah, Alexford, I'm sorry that today doesn't have any random topics of discussion. I, I needed to get some actual info in there. Okay, so while we're here, um, yesterday I didn't, well, I streamed a bunch of this yesterday. But in the three people sent in fan art, and I didn't get to them, so here we go. This is from NK. This is uh, the legend, or this is Derp 2, the Derp Derp, according to NK. <laughs> Thank you for that, NK. This is from King Darien. He drew this during the stream. 
And uh, I'm so bad at art that I don't know what kind of art this is. Is it watercolor? Is it... I don't know what this is, but it looks really cool. And actually his nose is reminiscent of that link that we looked at during the pre-show. So thank you for that, King Darian. And this is from Cola Star. I don't think Cola Star has ever submitted a fan art before, so this is really cool. And this is when I was fighting slimes and stuff in Zelda 2. So thank you for that, Cola Star. And I'll give all three of you 30 tomato points, so thank you for your fan art. And I'll put that into the uh, fan art Hall of Fame thing. Hello, Scalo, and hello everybody in the chat that I haven't said hello to. Hello, Headless Hillbilly. That's a great name. I like that name. Okay. So, with, the, with all that out of the way, we can uh, get started on the game. So right now we're going to be doing... Um, I need to catch up with yesterday, so we're going to do the Sixth Palace in the English version. It's not going to be that exciting, but uh, I don't know. I'll, maybe I'll make some crazy comments or I'll suck real bad. So here we go. Let's listen to this nice music. So actually, I realized that I should probably play through the Game Boy Advance versions and a couple other versions, but I don't know if I'm going to stream those. I might just dive quickly into those to get the things that I need. Like, I'm curious to know if the, the Japanese Game Boy Advance version is based off of the Famicom Disk System version, or the NES version, or some hybrid. So I, I mentioned it before, but in about an hour, a Nintendo Direct is going to happen, and it's April Fool's Day, so there better not be any mention of Mother, Mother 3, Earthbound, or anything. I'm gonna go crazy, and the, and the stream will have to end. The most adventuresome quest yet. 1987. If anybody was here, if anyone was born in 1980 or was alive in 1987, give yourself 10 tomato points. <laughs> All right. Let me get. All right, got that. Got that going. Let's do this. Oh, weird. I, okay, I gotta fix something on the stream. I broke something on the stream. There we go. Okay. Okay, so here's our goals for today, yeah. So explain all the Zelda 2 compare stuff isn't about. I did that. Finished Set Palace 6 in the English version. I'm going to do that right now. Then we're going to finish the game in both versions. And all the while, I'm going to be taking screenshots of all the remaining text. And I think even after I beat the game, there's still some loose text that I need to go find. So how do tomato points work? You have to award yourself your own points, and you have to keep track. And if you lie, then you lose all your points. If you get 50 points, you know, you can trade them in for a Kool-Aid packet. We'll send you one for free. And there's other things, too. Like, if you get 500, I'll do a, a drawing. I'm a terrible artist, so um, people ask... People ask with delight to have me draw things. Okay, so let's get started. Oh yeah, so I have um, save states. So I gotta go back to that save state. I have to be really careful because the microphone is on my hospital bed thing and the slightest movement, the slightest wobble will be annoying to you guys. Okay, here we go. And also, I mentioned it before, but um, I have I have a cheat code in place. I have a cheat code put in place that lets me uh, avoid damage. Hello, Besk. Hello, everybody. But I can still die if I fall into pits, and I've done that before while distracted by the chat. So a chat tried to distract me. Haha. Okay, so here we go. Ooh, man, this is different from yesterday's, if you guys remember. Yesterday's, when I played the Japanese version, you know, it's just white and normal, kind of looking. Yay, I need that. So, Ness Amiibo's delayed until 2018. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if some Earthbound fans went and made their own at that point. That's like what Earthbound fans are known for. 
We do our own. We do our own stuff. Do it. Do it your own. Do it yourself. Devotion. Oh crap. So look why it plays asks, aren't the ah, aren't the palaces all the same color in the Japanese version? I can't remember, like, but I seem to recall that there's some, there's like maybe two different ones. I don't know. I have screenshots of them all. I don't have to go through them. Why am I dodging that guy? I can just kill these guys like that. I'm looking forward to finishing this game and getting on with the writing of the book. Like the fun part is actually um, digging into all the screenshots and all the text and all the written materials, and also like um, looking at how like Japanese audiences perceive perceive things in the game compared to how other audiences did. Like digging into that stuff is the real fun. This is sort of the grunt work at first. Ah, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. I can. I learned how to do this. There we go. Okay, so since these guys like um, go through me, they now take all of my magic. Like they'll, they'll just sap my magic away, and I can just walk past these guys. So Elk Spirit, we've actually like we're gonna do for the secret alt text on. So if you visited legendsoflocalization.com, every image on the site has secret text almost. So if you hover your mouse over the over an image, it's kind of like the new game plus of the site. Anyway, so I've been trying to figure out how to do that with the books. Haha. -ha. <laughs> and, um, let me just go this way. And so, like, we got a, a cool cool new, new designer at Fangamer, and he found a way to do it with captions that don't look obnoxious. So we'll probably be able to retain them in some way. I was also thinking of doing, like, um, invisible ink for the secret text, keeping it in the book. But I don't know if Fangamer is going to be able they're gonna be cool with that. It might be extra money. <laughs> one time, like one of my Final Fantasy IV pages, I was like, you know what? I can't think of any funny text today. I'm tired, so I got a like a local book full of ads, and I just wrote all of the ads as the, as the secret text. And immediately, I got like five emails saying, "Did your site get hacked? Do you have all these secret ads on your site?" And I was like, "No." I forgot that this happens. So people uh, people do really enjoy the secret text in the site. So I also had an idea today. And uh, sometimes a, I have to do like animated GIFs or animated GIFs, whatever your creed is um, for the site, like when I have to explain uh, animation differences. So I was thinking like, how can I do that in the book? And then I thought, what if I like put the animations on the like the thumb, the thumbs of the pages, and you can flip through the book to see them happen? That's probably like really silly and a really unprofessional book at that point. But I think it would be, I think it'd be an interesting experiment. I wonder if many books do that. Okay. Are any of these fake? Can I hit these? So isn't there like, isn't there like a fake, ah, uh, yeah. Usually there's a guy that flies around and drops fire, at least in the Japanese version. So you can kind of tell where the, where the hole is. You know, what? I'm just going to, um, ferry through that part. So Captain Underpants, I don't really know what that is. It sounds familiar though. But if that's a thing, then that's probably what I'll be doing. Or I'll invent a uh, Harry Potter books where you, like the books animate. All right, so I'm gonna turn into a fairy. So jump after the third statue. First statue, second statue. Okay, I don't know if you mean to do spell jump. Okay, I see. See, I told you I suck. 
This is why I kind of like don't want to stream these games when I play them because I suck so bad. And um, a lot of the time I'm, I'm like I have to talk. I have to talk to everybody in every situation ever. So it's not like a very fun game gameplay style to watch. But I don't know. This is sort of an experiment, and if it's fun enough, maybe I'll do it with future games. And you guys can be on the ground floor of future projects and books. Okay, so it's a book series that had things called Fliparama that were primitive animations. Look like play says you are all judging me. Alright, I can do this. Ah, I can't do this. So are you just supposed to like do this the hard way and sort of just mess up a few times in a row in the English version? So there's one more solid tile after the statue. Okay. I look forward to seeing the highlights during the credits of this stream. It's just going to be me falling and falling. <laughs> so I did that on my second try in the Japanese version. Yeah, I don't. I I was confused on how I had that. I got it to work. Ah! <laughs> Alright, you know what? I need a fall counter. I should have programmed one. So I can't remember what it is, but I think those those eyeball things, I think they're called MOAs, and they're different somehow in the, in the two versions. I think like maybe one gives you experience, one doesn't. Okay, so I need to spell jump. Or I can do fairy. Okay, that's right. That's right. I tried fairy yesterday and it didn't work. Wait, that's one. I'm going back to preschool. Three. Okay, so I have two I have two tiles there. Okay. Two tiles and level six. I have I have to mnemonic that. And for future playthroughs. And I didn't use the jump spell either, so I suck. So here I am, like you can you can sort of see I'm pretty leveled in the Japanese version. It's really it's really easier to level up in this game, in this version. Oh no, Andrew Ray used a crazy crazy question face. Here we go. Nyom. Got it. So the trick is to make that sound. Nyom. Oh man, so is, is Twitch doing any April Fool's stuff today? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Hi Brenty. Hello Clayman. Are you the Clayman from um, old Starman.net? Well, I guess Starman.net is still around, so it's not old. Alright. No more Mr. Nice Link. Die, horse. Gotcha. Oh no, there's the final boss. Spoilers, everybody. So I think uh, there's there's some text related to the to the magic key that I didn't get. I need to. I might have to go back and get that. Oh, here's the cross again. Still, they're still in the oh, crosses are okay mode. <laughs> 